you never plan to get hurt. Um, you know, the first one with my shoulder was kind of a, a freak thing, just, you know, hit a drive and shoulder pops out, not much you can do about that. But, and then, you know, with the accident last year was obviously a, a scary thing and nothing you plan on either. I approach things a little bit differently as far as how I prepare, but the amount is pretty much the same. You know, I've always enjoyed practicing and, and getting ready for a tournament and feeling prepared. So, you know, that part's kind of the same. I'm trying to, you know, as the years go by and I've been out here trying to get smarter in how I prepare and practice. About 2013 is really when I started um, working with the track man and figuring out my numbers and basically what all that meant. Not so much for a lot of the numbers, but just figuring out how far the ball's going and what, you know, what kind of distance I'm flying my irons and things like that. You know, I know where there are, you know, some shots I'll have around the greens, and so I like to, you know, work on some of those and then just kind of throw in some some random ones where, you know, if I happen to hit one offline or a spot I haven't been in, just kind of prepare for anything. I play the Pro V1. Really like it around the greens. It's soft enough to get some spin. If I happen to do short side myself to get something to stop quick, so, um, yeah, I mean, really, everything about it I love. Even though the injuries I've had, you know, they've been serious. I've been able to kind of come out the other side and still be able to play. It's something I think about, you know, a lot, even just in one week out here. So i um, really just happy to be here. And, you know, and as far as preparing and practicing goes, it's, it's the same thing I've always done. You know, maybe now I just appreciate it a little bit more.